What's up, Libra? I'm juggling. And I also see the eight. So I feel like you've been seeing eights. Abundance and prosperity. And we know that because I, I did um, April Libra reading kind of late in April. So, but I, it's weird because I feel like both kinds of energy. I feel, um, I'm hearing the word flatline. It's kind of like there's there's some Libras out there. Well, you're who, who's Libra? Like you're the justice card, you know? Balancing out. That's what you're doing. I feel like some of you have um, withdrawn. You're resting. You're recuperating. I feel like there's been, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's been a huge week. Yeah, see, there's, there's, you've ended some cycle of lack. Um, and I know like last month you guys were about to come into some bank and I heard from so many of you just confirming what you've been doing and it's just like so awesome you guys I had like the most views I've ever had on my YouTube channel and I and so many of you subscribed and I just I, I love talking to you I, I don't even think I've gotten back to all the comments yet yet you guys have come into your truth I feel like you're speaking your truth Because the energy, like now, it just feels just strong, you know? But it costs. I heard, like, but it cost. Um, just as I was, like, tapping into your energy, like, um, I was... The song, Without You... By the Dixie Chicks was playing and it ended, and then Peach by Prince started playing. So there may be some of you missing someone. Yeah, they may be at like a distance, maybe traveling to go see them. They may be traveling to see you. But it's like, I don't know, I just feel like there's been, um, yeah, a loss. There's been some sort of loss for some of you. But I feel like you're moving forward. Let's see. Let's just, yeah, here we go. Moving forward. You see, you've closed cycles. I'm telling you, I feel like it's been a really big week. Or it's about to, you know, just big changes. It's like, you see the sash? There's something with this sash. Like, it's, it's like really, you could be joining forces. Well, that was coming up last month, right? You're headed towards your Ten of Cups, Libra. All right, let's see what else for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So this is general, so if it doesn't resonate with you, check your other signs. And if I say that it's you, it could be the per person around you or people around you or whatever. So... Could be happening now. Could have already happened. It could be about to happen. The energy feels different. It just feels a lot calmer because I know, like last month, I was like totally hyperspastically, where like you had like some kind of idea you're about to like just go off. All right, two more cards for Libra. Two more cards. Yeah, something something is happening fast. You're communicating um, over the, the web, I heard, like, over the web, like, whatever, via internet, text, um, Facebook, whatever. This is travel. Traveling. Traveling around the world. Some of you are traveling around the world. Yeah, look, here's another um, travel. Like, you've, some of you are, are definitely... Okay, I heard expanding your world. See, something with this two of wands that I always like, just it always pops out to me is the fact that this wand is chained to this building. Okay, you see that? And, but he's he's got this one. It's free. It's free of chains. Because that's what I feel like. I feel like some cycles have closed out for some Libras, Libras that have... 
sorry, I'm getting it here, the, getting the message, um, that have held them chained and bound. And, and it's now, now it's like you've chosen your path and you know you have the world in your hand. You're taking the world by its balls is what I heard. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. That's awesome. I told you I, I feel just like strong, like feel tall. I feel like just All right. So one more plus the bottom of the deck for Libra, please. One more plus the bottom of the deck. One more plus the bottom of the deck. Let's see these two are coming out and let's see what this is. Cuz it's like flipped. Okay. Let's see what these other cards are. Yeah, see, these are big cards, and that's what I'm telling you. It's like this, this indecis. Yeah, see, look, and here's this rest card. It's like an even heartache. Some of you are coming out of heartache. You're recuperating, recovering from a heartache. I feel like you're, because this is also about getting like spiritual um, downloads. And like with this hair font, it's like these two cards are, are closing out this pile here. And maybe you haven't really known what to do with this information and you're, you're, you're taking it all in. So that you can figure out what your truth is in regards to all the information that you're getting. It's like you're processing information. You may be looking on the internet and like researching. That's what I feel like you're doing, like you're figuring stuff out so that you can make your own clear decisions. I mean, that's what the King of Swords does. There you are. Cutting out the bullshit. What's at the bottom? Yeah. I feel like it just like it's everything because I'm, I'm getting a lot of um, see it's like as above so below. I feel like you're you're for some of you you're I'm here, expanding horizons. Your horizons are expanding. You're taking a stand. I, I mean that I'm just saying the same thing over and over again here, right? Right. Let's, cl let's clarify the, um, the hair font. This is, I, I, it's a teacher. You might be a little bit like stunned by what you're finding out and what you're, that's why you're taking this break. Yeah, see? It's like you're trusting your intuition. This is, I mean, this is your card here too as well, the high priestess, you know? Uh, you, you're probably not speaking about it, Everything that's happened, everything that you've, you've, you've got. Yeah, look. I heard Mother Maiden Crone, which is who these three ladies can represent. There's a hidden secret reunion here. Because this also represents a secret. There's a secret celebration, hidden celebration. There's there's like just something. Anyway, you're you're processing everything. I feel like um, what's here at this. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. So working hard. This is also about like working on yourself spiritually. You could be just like totally focused on work because all this stuff that you're figuring out, like it's, it's a little bit mind blowing, <laughs> which, you know, I, like, I feel like it's energy of like people waking up, you know, and by waking up, I mean like realizing that life just isn't about like, like there's more to life than driving a fancy car and 
the clothes you wear, like for me, waking up was realizing, um, that I'm much more than my physical body and that we're all connected and just, it goes pretty deep, you know? So, and I felt crazy for a while because, <laughs> you know, when I was first waking up, I didn't realize I was waking up. I didn't know what it was, you know? And that, I feel like there's that kind of energy. It's like realizing like, it's like making your own decision on this. Somebody's getting clear. You are clear. And I just heard the pause before the storm. All right, let's see. Clarify this hair font, please. Yeah, it's like you could be resisting, resisting a, con a connection, fighting for a connection. Yeah, see, here's this moon card again. So. Some of you might be dealing with a cancer. The moon is about like psychic. I, I just feel like maybe your third eyes opened, you know, like maybe you had like some serious spiritual awakening. It just like totally bugged you out. You know, you're just like, whoa. And it's literally like changed everything, like changed your world here. And now you're resting, like processing it. Like, okay, now what do I do? You could have be um, being affected by the moon cycles. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, let's see. Let's get a couple of romance cards here for Libra for the month of May 2019. For yourself. That's what you're doing. That's why you're pause. Some of you, I feel like are in this pause, like marinating so that you can get your truth to step into it. You're, you're speaking your truth. Cause that's who the King of Swords is. King of Swords doesn't fucking fuck around. You know what I mean? Like he knows what he wants and he's not afraid to cut people out that don't belong there. And that's what I feel like you're doing. You may be communicating this with different people in your life. Speaking about what you'll tolerate and what you won't tolerate. Some of you are reunited with someone. And I feel like didn't I, that was part of what was going on last month. All right, let's see. Yeah, someone that you have a lot, which goes with that song, Peach. <laughs> that print song by Peach. Yeah, you're like realizing what you deserve. This is because I'm telling you, I get this like super strong energy from this King, King of Swords card here. And it's like, it's like maybe you are the boss. I, I, I feel like you're just like looking into spirituality. You're looking into... Like you're, maybe you've always been someone that's like super traditional. Maybe that's the way that you've been raised and something's happened. That's just like totally shifted that. And you you've been coming to terms with it. Let me see. What else? What else for Libra? Expanding your horizons. I think we already said that. What else for Libra? But there is a, a commitment, a co connection. Some of you are getting married or offering some commitment or somebody's offering a commitment to you because this is this, you know,
I feel like this is what you're trying to like, this is what you're thinking about. I, you, but you might not be telling anybody you're thinking about it. Oh, holy shit. I just realized both of these cards were out. Okay. So this, some of you, the connection that you have, because there's, there's like, the king and the queen, when the king and the queen of some suits show up, that's like definite soulmates, okay? Emperor, empress in one reading, that's definite, like twin flame, empress, um, divine masculine, divine feminine. This, this is like everything. This is two people with like, you're probably telepathically communicating with this person. I mean, this is both of you spiritually, spiritual teachers, spiritually gifted. One of you may be more traditional than the other. But this is like, you know, uh, I'm seeing like the alchemist, the magic, like it's, it's being all of it, owning all of it, having all of it. Like both of you are completely power. This is like totally powerful together. I mean, the energy even feels like when I put them together, it's, it's, it's like, the energy of the cards like changed, like it just felt like so powerful. Creators. All right, let's see. Clarify these two. Clarify these, this high priestess and Hierophant. It's a secret connection, a secret commitment. I just saw the wedding card. Let me see. See, power couple, the finances and careers coming out. Like, maybe somebody that you work with or you're going to work with. You know who this person is. You need to express their, your love to them or they need to express their love to you. It, this could be what you're contemplating, Libra. I mean, there's like, this says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And I'm telling you, like these two cards together just feel like major. Yeah, you might like see this person at your job or talk to this person at your job or during your job, like something. It's very like flirtatious and fun. All right, let's see. What's some advice for Libra? Stay optimistic and positive energy. Yeah, because some of you have been like really stressed out. You might have a lot of stress going on in your home front. Look at this. This is also my twin flame. The, I'm telling you, whatever connection you have going on with someone and you know who this person is, I because you two are either already married or like this is a, a sacred spiritual union here. Like it's so intense, like, kind of blowing my mind right now that we're getting all these cards. Um, 
Yeah, like this person is your twin flame. You guys have been like together in many lives. You, there's probably like you're, you're communicating through music. You're getting lots of songs through music. But there's some sort of conflict around it. You're about to talk about it and change things for this new start. You know, I'm telling you, somebody's going through some sort of spiritual awakening. It's like I'm hearing overindulgence. There's been some sort of overindulgence. Not making a decision. It's taking you forever to make a decision. <sighs> All right, we were up. I get one, one card for Libra here. High Priestess. I'm telling you, Libra, you were like in the zone. And this is start delegating because. You need to rest. I feel like whatever you've, I'm hearing, whatever you've encountered, whatever you're processing is like, it's, let me read what this says. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. I'm telling you, <laughs> That's what I said. So either you already, um, I feel like maybe you've even had some sort of gift. You've developed some sort of gift. Like I said, like your third eyes opened up or something. And uh, this feels so fucking powerful <laughs> right now. I can't even, I don't even have the words to. And it says, ask others, including me to help help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. Yeah. So if you haven't, maybe you haven't been talking about this because I feel like you haven't, I feel like there's so much like there's like, she's also about secrets. And then you got the moon card here, secrets. Yeah. And you need to, yeah, there's like some sort of hidden communication about a new beginning. It's Virgo. Could have ended something with a Virgo. There was some sort of ending with a Virgo. A Virgo. I mean, that's the hermit card, but it's just like coming to me as a Virgo. It's like, but this, this is like a guy. This is somebody that you know. Maybe somebody's passed away, and they are guiding you. <sighs> All right, Libra. There's your new beginning. Here you are, the emperor. Like, owning your shit. I can't even tell you how powerful this reading is. It's... Mind-blowing, really. You know who you're connecting with, and it's like, it's serious. Okay, I'm just going to end that. And I'll see you next month, Libra. I love you.